All right, hey, Michaela. Does your mic work? Yeah. All right. We'll be doing most of the reading for the day. All right, go ahead, Ms. Smith. No, I have my son and my son education in the class of my faith. We have been able to wear that spread our stuff for school, our family, the academy stuff, and I was actually saying the big part of the academy stuff. Respect the parents of others, respect the culture of the classroom. We are attentive to participate. We have high expectations of ourselves, our kids, and our teachers that are here. Welcome to the class of the post secondary All right, cool. Uh, so Chicago Public Schools policy is uh, for the entire duration of class, you must be attentive and participating or you'll be removed from class due to lack of activity. If you are marked absent for 24 days or more, uh, you automatically fail the course and be required to take the material in order to graduate. So try to be mindful and stay attentive in class. DJ and Townhouse, this is uh, pretty much happens every day. Uh, it's from 11.15 a.m. to 11.45, where we'll be discussing all sorts of different um, opportunities, apprenticeships, resources, you name it. Staff tries really hard to get the best of the best for you, so you got to be there in order to find out about it. And on, on top of that, a little bit of icing on the cake, I give anywhere from 5 to 10 points for just participating in the discussion. Now, um, if you need the link, you can find it in Etsy. I make sure I post it daily. And you can get it from any of the staff members, including myself, just message us on ESB. Try to attend. Another big initiative here is the Raspberry, Fi Raspberry Pi 400 kits. These are very, very useful kits. They can help you in a clutch, especially if your phone goes out, your computer goes out. But more importantly, to learn about computer science, engineering, and um, let's say computer engineering or electrical engineering. It's a lot of different uh, technical aspects to it. And then it's a method to get most of the students uh, ready for the jobs in the future. So if you don't have your kit yet, you can call the schedule to come, schedule time to come to the school to pick up your kit. Or if your kit is broken, for some reason, I don't know, students say it dropped or fail, all you do is call and bring all those parts, those damaged parts, up to the school so that um, I can try to repair it myself. That's why I need all the parts, but I'll give you another one in the interim to get you started or get you on, on track with your kids, uh, kid assignments. So do that at your earliest convenience. I do know this is like almost the end of the quarter because it's like the last week, this week here from Monday to Friday, and uh, the quarter's finished. If you have assignments in the past that require the use of the kids, now is the time to hurry up and get your kid up and running and get it done or come up here and get one. Either way, try to be, finish this quarter strong. Uh, this is pretty much expired. I got to remove this slide. Uh, so it might be coming back in the future. I got to check on this lane. Uh, I see Mr. Davenport's right. Can you uh, read this slide here? Daily task. As soon as we'll be able to evaluate, we'll be able to complete the evaluation at SB. Hello, all aspiring STEM students. Welcome to class. Inside of SB, you can access all pre recorded videos of each class. These videos are normally ready to review by 4 p.m. daily. Very good, sir. All right. Um, so next up will be Ms. Smith. Can you read that screen for us, ma'am? So to be able to utilize play or internet some online course where you need to network and network fundamental models. To examine basic networking concepts and tips. Very good. All right. So you already know what your exit slip is going to be about, and this is how you finish it. You just got to look up those two words and then include your objective in there. So let's go to Edsby real quick and you're also going to need to open up the tab for Plato because you're going to be using that. As discussed prior, Townhouse and DGI is always at the top of your classroom view list as a student, so that you always know how to get there to get those points. But we're going to focus our energies on this. Uh, oh, this is the wrong one. Let's go to period four. That's for a different class. There we go. So we're going to focus on this Plato CompTIA A+. That's an actual certification and industry that you can get by going through all of the parts, but we don't have too much time, so we're just going through like two sections. 
I think last week we worked on hardware. This week we're going to look at the networking side of things. So, wow. Okay, I got to come back to that. So, I just saw something. So let's grab this info and put it in three sections. Uh, see that. Put that there. And I'm going to come over here. And grab this part too. And last component. There you go. Last person that read something was Makayla. So Davenport, this is for 45 points towards your overall score. Would you, are you there to read it? Yeah. Start from, okay, start from hello down to Zen, and don't worry about reading the links. You know how to do that part. Hello and good evening to all into the robotic students. The link for our Bitmoji class is followed as below. We will, be, we will begin utilizing Plato and Ment Edmonton curriculum online to complete today's assigned module, Unit 2, Networking, Network Fundamentals. Please follow the instructions below. Your coursework is illustrated via this link. You need to be sure that you have access to a laptop or personal computer to be successful, successful with all projects. You'll be required to take <clears throat> and pay attention to the instructions of each module in order to, in order to be successful with attending at least 80% or higher of completion. If your score is less than 80%, you will be required to retry the lab until the appropriate score is achieved. The exit template is followed as below. Stay safe right there, Zen. All right, cool. So we're going to click on the middle link. Again, everybody should have access to the exit slip link. That's the one at the bottom. Make sure you click on it and open it up, download it. If you have a bookmark, then you can do this afterwards. We're going to focus a little bit on Play Doh. So log into Play Doh right now, and the section we're working on. Let's go to it. It's going to be your comp tier. Let me find it for you. It's at the top. And it's CTE for technician training and part one, quarter four. Once we're in there, oh, well, let's log in again, right? So, do that. And we have CERL. And we're going to remember CERL is the first thing you type in for account. The next part or field is going to be your first name, last name, and you should know your, your, your password that was given to you recently. Okay. And log in. And let's see here. Kyla already tried the networking test. I'm going to unlock it. She's going to be playing. She jumped right into the activity. All right. So let's go here to the course. You just jump right in, huh, Makala? You just you blaze it right on in there. Um, that girl has no fear. All right. Davenport, you keeping up with us? If you know where to go? You there, sir? Yeah, open a new tab. But, um, I'm trying to look. You said it's units. So the, you see this course, uh, CTE Technician Training, Part 1, Q4? Is it the pretest networking? Uh, let's, let's go in the curriculum and take a look. So, oh, networking. yeah, it's just, yeah, networking fundamentals. So we go into units, unit two, right? And not the pretest, the network fundamentals tutorial. All right. Okay. These always lock me out. You said what? Every time I do these, it like locks me out of the things. That's fine. I mean, I can unlock it. You understand? You have patience with the technology. It takes time. But uh, try to open it up, everybody. We're going to go through a few of the slides together, and then we'll give you some time to work on your own. Now, remember, the mastery test is what needs to be completed with 80%. You get your information, like we did our kits, from the slides in the tutorial. Let's open up the tutorial. Let's go through a few of these together. I didn't want the timer up. Let's do this. Uh, what am I trying to do? I want you to reshare. Ooh, ooh, hold on, Rush. You could use that one, but you have to sign in as you. 
Oh, that's for the meeting. So you can explain it to them. But I also did an alternate video I can send to you. This will come through with clarity. There's some reason Chromebooks don't like to work with headsets too well. All right, um, so I'm gonna stop presenting and then I'm gonna represent. Everybody should be on the first slide. So you might come and tell you to read some parts for points. Network fundamentals tutorial. Ed Boula, as the French would say. And we are going to go where are we going? I'm gonna mute myself. Network fundamentals. In this lesson, you will explain basic networking concepts. So it just kind of gives you an overview of everything to be covered. Introduction, types of networks, lesson activity, identifying networks, types of internet connections. This is very important for those who have internet issues. You're about to understand how internet works, especially for information technology. Uh, TCP IP structure, right? And lesson activity at the very end. Summary, right? So all these sections pretty much would have the answers to your mastery test. Modern businesses rely heavily on data communication and networks. A network connects computers and devices, such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops, so that they can communicate with each other and share resources. These resources can include a printer, a scanner, or a file server. Devices on the network are referred to as nodes. These nodes are connected to the network using cables or wirelessly using radio waves. They can send or receive data generated by other nodes through various connection channels. Networks allow users to communicate and share information easily, regardless of physical location. This connection improves commercial activities, such as purchasing, selling, and customer service, making traditional business processes more efficient, more manageable, and less expensive. The ability to share equipment over the network is extremely beneficial in terms of costs and productivity. A properly designed network that allows resources to be shared among users can result in both lower equipment costs and increased productivity. Users can also use the network as a collaborative medium to share ideas and information to work efficiently and productively. In this lesson, you'll describe the types of networks, such as Local Area Network, LAN, Wide Area Network, WAN, Personal Area Network, PAN, and Metropolitan Area Network, MAN. You'll also describe the types of internet connections, such as cable, dial-up, and satellite. You'll explain the Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol, TCP IP structure. You'll also explain common network protocols and ports. Okay, uh, Mr. Davenport, can you read the screen here? A network connection connects two or more computers. It enables of sharing resources among the computers in a network, depending on how much area they cover. Networks can be classified into different types. Local area networks. A local area network LAN is a, is a computer network that is used for small areas. Computers or workstations are the endpoints or n nodes. In a LAN, these nodes are connected to each other in a closed environment that share resources such as files. They are connected using a device such as a switch or a router. Examples of LAN are networks at home, schools, or small offices. Okay, thanks, sir. Uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, Michaela, are you with us?
Why area network? Why area network? Cover large geographical areas across countries and states, and sometimes across continents. Lands connect multiple. And I'm supposed to say W A N, or is it winds and lands? You could say wind and land. Winds connect multiple lands using radio waves and telephone lines. They are high speed networks, and because they cover large areas, are relatively expensive. A wind may be accessible to a to the public, a large company with offices across the globe is an example of when. The most common example is the internet. Metropoli metropolitan area network. A metropolitan area network may cover small areas such as a city. This network is larger than a land, but it's smaller than a land. A man can be a collection of several lands. A man is useful in providing high speed connectivity to smaller geographical regions. An example of a man is a network connecting different banks in a city. Okay, cool. So let's go to next. All right, Mr. Davenport, you're up for some points. Got it? I'm trying to zoom in on it. A personal network area of PAN is a temporary network that connects to personal devices for a short period of time. The distance for a PAN is minimal, usually only a few meters. A PAN is the smallest. A PAN is the smallest compared to other networks because of the geographical distance it covers. You do not need a router to create a PAN. When personal devices are in range, using Bluetooth or infrared of the network, they can share files and data with each other. For example, you can create a PAN when you create a Bluetooth speaker to your phone. Another example is pairing two phones to share contacts. Okay, and let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna go through some of the little, a few of these questions. So uh, Makala, can you read? Uh, I think they kind of just gave the answers. I'm in teacher mode, like unanswered. So Tracy, uh, I'll read it. Tracy wants to share a file on her phone with a friend, friend nearby without the need of the intermediary device, which means a device in the middle. Uh, which is the most suitable network for this purpose? LAN, WAN, PAN, or MAN? These are acronyms. So I think LAN means local area network, WAN means wide area network, and then you have the others that were discussed prior. So I think MAN's metropolitan. But uh, Makayla, which answer do you think it is? Um, didn't you just say PAN or something? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well just choose. You saying PAN? Yeah. All right, let's see what the answer is. Hey, you got it. Yeah, Pam. Okay, let's go on. What do we got here? We'll go next. Okay, so this is identifying networks is the lesson activity. Uh, from here, press unanswered you, got first. Well, you said what? Press unanswered first. <laughs> you said right. You helped me out. All right, so. Let's just do this one. Go ahead and uh, read the question, Davenport, and you tell me, you read all the solutions too and tell me which one you think it is. Kelly bought a new smartphone. She wants to transfer all her contacts from the old phone to a new one. When, which network should Kelly use? So look all correct answers. Bluetooth, infrared, telephone line, or router? It's the first two. Okay, let's take a look. You're right, you probably already saw that. <laughs> okay. So where are we at? I answered. All right. So last one, Makayla, on you, and then I'm gonna give you guys some time to work on this yourselves. Read the questions and all the answers, and then choose. Richard works in the branch office of Central Bank of the City. At the end of the day, he has to update all transactions of that day. These transactions are updated on the main server of the bank. Is that Present in the same city, what network would it thank you? Ideally, user. Well, um, I don't know, I'm just saying. Oh, man. 
man. Okay. We'll see what the answer was. And you're right. Okay. So this is what you would go through, but you do this because some of these questions are going to appear in your mastery test. Take your time and go through the tutorial 100%. Let's review our objective one more time. I want to stop this and reshare. And we're going to go here. Fire screen. And voila. All right. Wait for everything to come live. Are you with me? Um, uh, there it goes. Wait a second. Let it refresh. Okay. Make sure everything's functional. Okay, so uh, Davenport, let me read this for us. And this is also yours. It's up, everybody. Uh, classroom time of the day is internet protocol suit. And the word of the day is discrepancy. <laughs> students, will be able to, students will be able to utilize Plato and Mentum online course where network. Networking network fundamentals module to examine basic networking concepts and techniques. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys 15 minutes to work on this. I'll be here, you know, uh, try to use this time to finish up the mastery and also your exit slip. I'll give you a little more time, but the class ends at 2.30. I'm trying to leave a little bit early, get you ready for the next period. But use this time to try to tackle the tutorial and then look at the mastery test. Again, the best way to do it, if you're not sure, is to try to go through the mastery test, copy all the questions, put it in a document, then go through the tutorial and see what the answers may be. Or you can do it old school, write the questions down, then go through the tutorial. Either way, know what you're trying to answer, right? All right, so check on you in 14 minutes. If you've got questions, raise your hand or just call out to me and I should be able to get back to you.
Okay, how far did you make it, you two? Kyla, Deontay, at least first agency? I'm on the last slide, but to start the test. Okay. Um, what about you, Michaela? Making progress? I did my exit slip. Okay. All right. So look, it, I want you to finish everything with four eight. Give you some time to get ready for next period. It's two seventeen. You guys are free to go. Just make sure you turn everything in and try to score your highest. If you have trouble with uh, the test, then you can just retake it by messaging me and Esme, and I'll unlock it again. So see you later.